Simply put, we're at a different place when it comes to sports nutrition in the 21st century. I've been in this area for a long, long time, and it used to be that the fundamental pillars of sports nutrition were having enough carbohydrates to take part in the activity and then protein. It was all about protein. And I know there's people now who are still, you know, banging that drum, protein, protein. And for good reason, it's important. But we're at a completely different stage. And that's actually in two ways. First of all, there's so much more access to information. So now the average person, what we call the recreational athlete, which is like myself, someone who's keeping fit, taking part, you know, really staying fit to be in better health. Well, they're well aware of what elite and professional athletes are doing. And it's absolute common sense that you would say, okay, well, if that's what they do at the very top level, then maybe that's what I should do because everything is relative. So the stress that we put our bodies under just to stay fit and healthy, is relatively very, very similar to the stress that an elite athlete is putting themselves under to be the very top of what they do. And so it makes sense. You would always look to do the best. And so now sports nutrition, and this is whether or not you're a gold medalist, Olympian, a professional rugby player, soccer player, is exactly the same as that person who's going to the gym, who's taking part in a Pilates, a Zumba class, the, the keen runner, triathlete, surfer exactly the same and one of the best parts is is that you can access the exact same quality and you can access the exact same formulations and so now it's not just about protein you know what we're looking at when we consider our protein needs is how much we need across a day total amounts but also recognizing that if we're going to consume proteins what we want with that is something that's far more food like so we want it especially in recovery we want it to be far more you know contained in nutrients vitamins and minerals and then we're looking at our increased our sorry increased need of those elements if we look at the gut for instance and i'm going to start you know something like xenobiotic which is going to deliver those you know prebiotic fibers to nurture the gut so that the gut can better absorb nutrients and believe me exercise sport and training takes its toll on the gut and 80 percent of our immune system functions from within the gut and then we move on this to me is the ultimate sports performance nutrient omega-3 dha and epa it's the resolution exercise causes muscle damage causes neurological damage the adaptation which is where we improve is all about the resolution bringing those inflammatory markers back down and enabling the muscle to recover and be stronger if you want increased anabolic response, if you want decreased muscle soreness, if you want increased oxygen kinetics, that isn't protein, it's omega-3. This That comes from this, managing those pathways. This, to me, is really the ultimate sports performance bit of nutrition. And then we go into our broader nutrition needs. One of the key things I will say, and it's whether or not it's a child's multivitamin, for multivitamins for adults, when they were looking at topping up on something like vitamin c or d the key thing is is to ensure that if we're participating in sport from the top level all the way through to keep them fit it should be backed by informed sport we should have that certification to know there's no cross contamination there's no risk of something being in there that's going to give you a positive on a drugs test there's no risk to you in your personal health well-being and safety that everything is verified individually independently objectively batch tested safe effective 21st century sports nutrition